We got some beach body going. Six forty five in the morning. I'll only do Autumn's videos because I love her. <laughs> um, I think do I'll do cardio tomorrow. So let's do sure. Dirty thirty extreme. So it's about 9.45. This is my setup for work. I have my uh, normal computer here that I have to use for Zoom because it won't download on my school computer, which I have to have up to to check emails and stuff during meetings. So this is a fun little setup that I have going on for work. It's 9.45, just got off of a department meeting. And I just figured I'd show you like what a day in my life looks like. You guys always want more like of my life. And I was gonna record some of me working out this morning, but you don't need to see that because the video was hard today. It was the dirty 30 for the beach body and there were some plank workouts, which is like in plank position. You have to do stuff. I'm awful at planks. My upper body strength is really bad in plank position. So no, no, um, I'm really good at leg workouts because I have really strong legs and I just have always had strong legs. I was a catcher in high school for softball. So leg strength is fine for me, but doing anything else it was a mess so i didn't show you any of that i'm gonna run probably friday and saturday because it's gonna be warmer it was 25 degrees out this morning so i was gonna do a three mile run outside but decided it was too cold for me so i'll run tomorrow it is supposed to snow tomorrow but hopefully it's not gonna snow when i go to work out at 6 45 so my first book today though because it is a reading rush so we are reading i'm not gonna read yet i still have to do some work for my master's class and contact some more kids i'm in a master's program because i'm a teacher and um i want to get my master's so i'm on my third class now yeah it's a class at a time for five weeks. So I'm doing some of that this morning and I think I'm gonna pick up Angel Fall. This is gonna be my book for a place I'd like to go. It takes place in California. So I've never been to the West Coast and one of my best friends, Lacey, lives there and it'd be fun to go. So I know this is like dystopian, yeah, with angels and I am on an angel kick right now and I never read this. It came out in 2012. So I'm gonna read this. And I'll probably listen to the audiobook of Jock something. I read Jock Row, Jock Road by Sarah and I. I'll post it here. I love the first one. And when I run, I need like a fun audiobook. It can't be like super serious or else I just like get bored. So if it's fun and like fast paced, it's good for my run. So I'm going to start that audiobook for this reading rush just for fun. It's not really on my TBR, but I always listen to an audiobook. So yeah, I'm going to get to work and I'll talk to you guys when I've read some more of this. Look at that cute face. I love you. What? Okay, so hi everybody. It's like 11:30 now, and I I needed to step away from my work because I'm doing an assignment right now where. I got halfway done and I don't understand the next steps and I've read it like 10 times and I'm just getting frustrated so I emailed my professor for, for clarification because this statement it makes no sense on what I have to do so I was just getting angry so I just stepped away I'm gonna look at it later but a package came so I just get stuff in the mail from authors and from publishers and Sky Warren sent me her book last month and I guess she does the Dangerous Romance Club box. I almost dropped it. If you're not interested, I'll leave the timestamp down below if you want to skip over this, but it's a romance box. I thought you guys would be interested. I'm going to try to do this fast so it's not like annoying that I'm doing a super long book box and it's never ending. So this though usually comes with a lot of stuff. And I'll link them down below. I don't have an affiliate code. I'm not affiliated with them. They just sent me this box, which is full of romance stuff. And so I already know some spoilers because Lacey got it. And so I watched some of her stories because I saw what was in it. But this gorgeous tote came and it says, between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. And I love that. And it has a zipper, which is so nice. I love this so much. And it's like beach bag material on the inside so it'd be perfect to take to the beach when the beaches open up again and i love this take it to the library take it anywhere i'm very into that a hades and persephone sticker for amelia wilde don't know what that is but i know the two books already that were in here i'm very excited i actually already own one so i might give it away half truths by claire Contreras is in here which i own and i think that this might be a duet i don't remember but i don't own the second one. Oh, but this one's signed so that's exciting i found this at half race books like last year and i got it and i know this is a romantic suspense book so 
I might give one copy away. But the other book, which is exciting, is Australia, which is the whole anthology, I just forgot the word, a romance anthology to help with the wildfires that were in Australia. So this is chunky. It is over 800 pages and it has a bazillion authors on the back. You can't see them, but Penny Reed, uh, Sierra Simone, Sky Warren, Kenny Ryan, uh, Rebecca Yaros, all these good authors. I'm pretty sure Gianna Darling's in here too, which I knew. And this ended up being a bestseller, I know, on Amazon. And I wanted to get it, but I didn't know if I wanted it. So very excited that this was in there. My battery's flashing, so it's going to die any second. But I also have this, which let me try to open it. This is the last item in the box. Oh, and it's a necklace. And it says dangerous on it. That is a very pretty necklace. I like that. So this is the box. It's got a really cute necklace, which says dangerous. And so this came with a tote bag, a necklace, some stickers, and two books. One being a chunky, chunky book that's pretty expensive. It's at least $20. I think it was like $25 on Amazon. So I'm very thankful to Sky Warren for saying this to me. That was really cool. Just a quick little fun unboxing for you. I don't know when I'll get around to reading this. I might just flip through to my favorite authors. I don't think the um stories have anything to do with each other they're just random but yeah if you're interested i always see this box everywhere i'm pretty sure they have like bigger boxes that have like 10 books in them but i'll link them down below and i will go get to reading because i haven't read a single page today but i will and i have to store my clothes so i'll listen to my audio and those are my plans so i will talk to you guys later hi guys so i first of all watched the new episode of beverly hills housewives and i don't know what's gonna happen with denise's character character person i don't even know how to talk about reality tv like that but i don't know like what the deal is with denise i don't know so that's gonna be an interesting season but i am 30 pages in i haven't really read a lot today um i'm gonna read a lot more and i have a live show on jacqueline's channel tonight um so i'll probably post this after the live show so i'll link it down below i'm also having a live show tomorrow on my channel for which is friday night at 9 p.m. EST with Lisa Lacey and Riley's joining us from Riley Marie. I'm super excited. We're just going to chat like romance for two hours. So please come join. I'm very excited. So Lisa and Lacey and I did a live show two weeks ago and it was super fun. So we asked Riley to join us and yeah, so anyways, back to my book. Um, I'm 30 pages in and it's post-apocalyptic. So like something happened and the world's like falling apart because like the angels are taking over so the angels are bad but like the angels are fighting each other so she our main character pen saw pen 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 rain and i think people call her pen she saw angels fighting and they cut off the wings of an angel and she's like gonna help him um and so she like pretty much saved him it's kind of like nursing him back to health and that's the premise it's on the back of the book so i'm not spoiling anything um but i don't know if it tells you obviously like mental health isn't a spoiler so her mom is schizophrenic and you learn that i'm 30 pages in and i don't know how that uh representation is i don't know this is an old book so things have changed even since 2012 and what's in books so her mother's a very interesting character but i feel like she might not really be schizophrenic it might be something else that's just a guess but I'm trying to get to keep this as spoiler free as possible, but I'm hoping for a good romance, but we'll see. That's all I have for you right now. So bye. We finished our third puzzle. And it's another wolf puzzle. I like how it turned out. Very pretty. I did listen to a few audios while I was finishing the puzzle. I just like am having a hard time focusing on audiobooks for some reason. So I started that Sarah Nye audiobook and hated every second of it. It was like, she only had 15 minutes to get ready for her party and that was just nearly not enough time. She didn't look good when she was at the party and like she didn't have time to put on makeup. And then we got to the guy's perspective. He's like, oh yeah, and she didn't even put on any makeup for the party. And I was like, what kind of book am I reading right now? And I just did not have the patience for that book. So I stopped reading after like 15 minutes and then I started faking it by Kay Bromberg and was annoyed by that too because it was just like this playboy guy talking to his friend oh, and i was just like i don't care so then i continue listening to consolation by corinne michaels which is the girl's 
husband was a Navy SEAL, I think, or just a SEAL, and he passes away in the very beginning, and she's pregnant, and so now we have her, um, not even a year after, and his best friend, like, helping her, like, get things together, and she's gonna fall in love with a best friend, so I'm about halfway through that, and I just didn't want something serious, but I couldn't figure out what else to listen to, um, but then I downloaded it one of the Lauren Rowe books in that series. I haven't started it yet, but I loved Mr. Bodyguard and Ball Peen Hammer. So I'm just going to listen to the other book in the series. I'm not listening to them in order because I have the first one in paperback and I want to read it in paperback. So I'm listening to all the other ones. So I'm going to start that tomorrow, but that's my reading so far. I am um, 80 pages into Angel Fall. Let me grab that. It's over here. Yep. So I'm 80 pages into Angel Fall and it's fine so far. I feel like it's just picking up. Like obviously they're like traveling together. She has to try to save her sister. Um, and it's fine so far. Like, and I'm not even feeling any romance. Like, is there a romance in here? I don't know. And it just reminds me a lot of post-apocalyptic books when they're trying to survive, like Praying for Rain by B.B. Easton and The Fifth Wave. Um, I don't remember that author, but it's good so far. It's fine. He doesn't like do anything angelly yet because you know he lost his wings. So we'll see. I'm probably gonna read at least 100 pages during my live show, and then I'll have 100 pages left. So I don't know if I'll finish this today, but that's my update for you. So I'm gonna go start editing this vlog before my live show starts with on Jacqueline's channel and read some more. Hey guys, so I just got out of my live show. It is 9.40. I'm typically like in bed reading by now, but I need to do this clip and then edit it and then post my vlogs. It's gonna be a long four days, but it's only four days of daily vlogging, so it's fine. I read about 80 more pages, so I'm on page 180 of this book, 170, 60? 165 I was in the middle I'm on 165 and there's like no romance someone in the live show told me that the romance comes in in book two so I'm annoyed because that happened with Captive Prince as well how it was like such hype romance and then it's like oh but it doesn't actually happen in the first book it just like kind of slowly builds okay but this is pretty dark so far like they see like dead bodies hanging in the forest and stuff of like people who've been like eaten and stuff so I am enjoying it I'm interested to see what happens and like what this whole mystery is and yeah that's it. I do want to do some booktuber shout outs at the end of each of these videos so obviously you should be following Lacey and Lisa, my two BFFs, and Riley of course. I love Riley and her romance channel. There are a couple people that I've been following that are new and I don't remember the names. Okay so I don't remember what her name is but unrevealed reader i have been loving her channel she does post some romance videos so make sure you check her out and then also olivia from olivia reads a latte i've been loving her videos too even though she's mostly fantasy i still love her videos um and that's all i do today i'll do a couple every day at the end of these vlogs so make sure you stick around to the end to see some booktubers you should check out i will link them down below and that's all i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed this gotta go up for a run tomorrow and i'm not looking forward to it because i like running in the treadmill and reading but it's okay i'll run outside it's fine it's just harder to run outside than it is on treadmill because you're like running up hills and stuff but i'll do it and yeah and then i'm gonna finish this definitely tomorrow i'm gonna try to read a lot tonight but i'll probably honestly fall asleep before my video even uploads this probably is gonna go up tomorrow morning i'm hoping tonight but i'm not gonna stay awake for that probably so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow in my tomorrow's vlog let me know what you read today and how you're doing that's all i have bye